Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from unit interpolation. The name of a topic is concept of backward operators or backward differences. So let's write it as first step number one. Let we have y0, y1 up to yn are the known values. These are known values for the function. So let me write it as these are known values for the function y equal to f of x. Now here if you see this function f of x is unknown to us. But we know values of y that is y0, y1 up to yn corresponding to values of x that is corresponding to x0, x1 up to xn. In other words, I can say that we have a values like this, that is we have a value of x and y. We know a tabular value x0, y0. After that x1, y1. Like that we can write a value up to xn, yn. So these are the tabular values that we got from the function. Here this function f of x is unknown to us. Now in case of step number 2, let me write it as the data is equally spaced. Data is equally spaced. Now what is the meaning of equally spaced? It is nothing but distance between all values of x is same. That is, I can write it as h will be equal to step size, which will be equal to x1 minus x0 or x2 minus x1 like that. In other words, I can write it as x of i plus 1 will be equal to xi minus h. That is, we can write it as, here if you see, here I have written h equal to x1 minus x0. So that is, I can write it as x1 will be equal to what? x0 plus h. x2 will be equal to x1 plus h, like that. This is nothing but equally spaced data. That is, distance between all values of x, whatever we have, it is the same. Now, let me take step number 3 as, let me write it as, let function f of x0, it is denoted as y0. Then, function f of x1, it is denoted as y1. Like that, I can write it as function f of xn, it will be denoted as a yn. So therefore, now we are talking about backward difference operator. So therefore, I can write it as backward difference operator. Now this backward difference operator, it is denoted by this del symbol. This will be a symbol del. So what is this backward difference operator? The formula is del of f of x will be equal to f of x minus, here if you see, f of x minus h. So this will be a basic formula for a backward difference operator. If you go through a previous video, then in that case, we have seen that forward difference operator. So what was that forward difference operator? It was f of x plus h minus f of x. Here we are talking about backward difference operator. So therefore, from this, I can write first order, first order differences. Now how I can write a first order differences? It can be write in this way. Let, let me write it as, it will be what? Del f of x1 will be equal to, it is again denoted by del y1 because already we have seen that f of x1 is denoted by y1 which will be equal to, how we can write here, if you see here we have written f of x. So in place of f of x here we have written f of x1. So again in place of x what we have to write, we have to write there x1. So how to write it as, it will be f of x1 minus f of x1 minus h1 or in other words I can say that it will be y1 minus <coughs> y0. 
Similarly, let me write it for x equal to x2. So, how we can write del f of x2 will be equal to, it is nothing but del y2 which will be equal to f of x2 minus f of x2 minus h. In other words, I can write it as this f of x2 is denoted as y2 and this will be, now you will ask me, sir, why here we have writing it as a y1? Because what is this term? It is x2 minus h and we know that, we know uh, how, what, what is h? h will be equal to what? x2 minus x1, h is the step size. So, here if you see, if I shift it, I can write it as x1 will be equal to what? x2 minus h. So, in place of x2 minus h, I can write there x1. So, we will get it as f of x1 and this f of x1 is denoted as a y1. Here also if you see, again you will ask me sir, why here we have written this y0. Because this x1 minus h, now h is the step size which can be written as x1 minus x0 also. So, therefore, here I can write it as x0 will be equal to what? x1 minus h. So, in place of x1 minus h, I can write there x0. So, it will be f of, here it will be what? This will be your f of x0, which is again equal to y0. So, similarly, if I want to write this formula up to n term, then it will be del f of xn. So, how to write it? Generalize. Here, if you observe, observe, if you write it here 2, here also we have a 2. So, how we can write it as? It will be delta yn, which is equal to f of xn minus here f of xn minus h, which will be equal to, this is again treated as yn minus, this will be yn minus 1. Now, these are first order differences. Now, how to write second order differences? So, let me write it as second order differences are. So, how we can write the second order differences? It will be del square y2 will be equal to del y2 minus del y1. Now, what is this del y2? We have seen how to write del y2. It will be y2 minus y1. So, let me write it as del y2 will be equal to y2 minus y1 minus what is del y1? It is y1 minus y0. So, let me write it as y1 minus y0. So, cumulative we can write it as y2 minus 2y1 plus y0. So, uh, likewise we can write this term up to del square yn which will be equal to, if you see here, if we have a 2 here, we have to write it here 2 and here we have to write it as 1. So, how we can write for nth term, del square yn will be equal to del yn minus del yn minus 1 which will be equal to yn minus 2yn minus 1 plus yn minus 2. Here, refer this. Based on this, you will be able to write it for nth term. Please see it carefully. When we have a 2 here, here also we have a 2. Then after that, 2 minus 1 here we will have a 1 and uh, 1 minus 1 we will have here 0. So, if we have n here, then it will be what here n. So, here n minus 1 and here n minus 2. So, if you correlate this equation and this equation, then you will be able to understand how we have written this. So, this was related to second order differences. So, how we can write it for nth order differences? So, let me write it as for nth order differences. Now, for nth order differences, if you see, we will be writing directly a basic formula that is del raised to n yi will be equal to del yi raised to n minus 1 minus del raised to n minus 1 y of i minus 1. So, this will be your generalized formula for nth order differences. So, from that whatever we have discussed, simply we will make a table for some values and we will write a forward difference operator. Let us say, suppose if I have a values x and y which will start from x0, its corresponding y value is y0, then x1 we have value y1 
after that x2 we have this value will be y2 then x3 we have corresponding value y3 then this will be your x4 it will be a corresponding value as y4 so how to prepare so therefore i will write it as we have to prepare backward difference operator table so how to prepare this backward difference table please see it carefully because it will be useful for uh, further calculations so i will write it as this will be your first x so let me draw this first column then after that we will have a value of y so write it like this if we have this will be your x0 this is your y0 then this will be x1 this is your y1 x2 y2 then this will be your value x3 y3 this will be value x4 and corresponding value is y4 so how to write a next column now next column we have to write it like this it will be of del y now please see it carefully how i am going to write it del y will be equal to second value minus first value that is y1 minus y0 now here i have not written any suffix uh, i will tell it later on what to write there next is again del y will be equal to y2 minus y1 so that's why this table is called as difference table because here we are taking difference between values of a y here also let me write it as del y will be equal to y3 minus y2 and here also this del y will be equal to y4 minus y3 now we are talking about backward difference table now here what is the value here 4 so here we have to write 4 so before that here it will be 3 this will be 2 this will be 1 so here we have written suffix now next we have to complete this table so let me write it as del square y so what it will be it will be like this del square y now i am not going to write here suffix right now so how to write this it will be second value minus first value that is del y2 minus del y1 next is del square y second value minus first value that is del y3 minus del y2 and del square y again del y4 minus del y3 so del y4 minus del y3 now as we are talking about backward difference table so this value here we have written at this place for the suffix so same value we are going to write it at this suffix so it will be 4 before that we will have a 3 before that we will have a value 2 now after that if you see let me write here uh, del cube of y so how to complete this uh, del cube of y please see it carefully so i am going to write it here it will be what del cube of y will be equal to second value minus first value means i can write it as okay let me move this here del square y3 minus del square y2 and again here del cube of y will be equal to second minus first value so here del square of y4 minus del square of y3 so again here we are going to write this suffix so it will be 4 here it will be 3 and the last column because you will get at the end you will get only a last value it will be delta is to 4 y so delta is to 4 y here but obviously it will be a y4 because we are going to shift this value as a suffix here so what it will be it will be second value minus first value so it will be delta cube of y4 minus delta cube of y3 now as we are talking about backward difference table so okay let me take other color pen so that it will be easy for me to show what difference here it is so as we are talking about a backward difference table so when we will be discussing newton's backward interpolation formula we will be using these values that is y4 then del y4 then this will be your del square y4 del cube of y4 
okay and last one uh, last value will be equal to what okay let me move this here at this side it will be del raised to 4 of y4 so why this table is called as difference table because here we are going to take difference between all the values of x and why it is called as backward difference table because if you see this last value it is moving in a backward direction so that's why that is suffix 4 here if you see this is 4 so here if you see again okay let me let me move it at this side here it will be a y4 so here also y uh, del y4 del square y4 del cube of y4 like that last value is moving in a backward direction so this is what is the concept of backward difference table or backward difference operator so based on this concept whatever we have discussed here uh, it will be useful uh, in a further topic that is newton's backward interpolation formula so how to solve that that we will discuss later on in next video lectures thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt please feel free to ask any questions Thank you once again.